Hey everybody, so I have a case where we were all hands on deck because this client had terminal stage 4 cancer and so we were all trying to get her solved as quickly as possible because we didn't know how much time she had here on us, this earth. So welcome back to Client Stories with Amy. So when I say all hands on deck, I had myself, another angel, and two research assistants working on this case. And usually when we do a tag team case like this, we usually have one angel working on one side, one line. So in my case, I was working on the mom side and the other, other angel working on the dad side. And then we each have a research assistant. So kind of what we'll do is we'll identify a most recent common ancestor and I'll start putting matches in while my research assistant is working on building those trees downward. So that way I can work really, really fast and get those matches in the tree pretty quickly. We didn't know that I had the mom side and the other angel had the dad side until we were getting in there and starting to verify lines and identifying the grandparent. And the reason why I knew that I had the mom is because my line had three daughters, no sons. Our client was born in 1942 and her mom, both of these, um, the three girls that were suspected as the birth mom, we had two that were too young to be a mother and one that was at the right age. She was in high school at the time. So we suspected that this is the biological mother. Um, a little background story once we were able to figure everything out is like I said, she was born in 1942. The biological mother was in high school and she had fallen in love with a boy and he was three or four years older than her and he was being shipped out to the war. He was being drafted and so he wasn't going to be there and so they wanted to get married before he left. Her parents said, absolutely not. You're not getting married right now. You're too young. That's that. So um, before he left, it was literally two nights before he left, they decided to be together and she was hoping that if they were together, she spent the night with him, then her parents would let her get married and it backfired. Her parents still said, absolutely not. You're not getting married. He went away and she found out several weeks later that she was pregnant. And again, she's like, mom, dad, I'm pregnant. We can get married now. Like he wants to get married. We're writing each other and they're still firm. No, you're not marrying him. We're not allowing it. That's that. And so instead of letting her marry the boy that she loved and the father of her child, they sent her to a children's home. While she's at the children's home, she lived there for a few months and delivered her baby. Didn't even get to see her baby, didn't get to hold her baby, didn't know if she had a boy or a girl, didn't know anything. And so she had the baby taken from her, like completely taken against her will. She wanted this baby, she wanted to marry the dad. It was taken from her. And she never forgot about that baby. Once we got some client information for, um, information for our client for the biological family, um, of course, her birth mom had passed away, but she had some siblings and her siblings knew she existed. They didn't know our client was a boy or a girl. Like I said, they just knew that their mama had a baby in 1942 that was taken from her and that's all they knew. And they remembered this baby. Like she never forgot about her baby that was taken from her. She always celebrated the birthdays. They always had a cake for the birthdays. It was a sad day, but they tried to make it as happy as they could, but they never ever forgot this child. And so that kind of made my clients super excited and sad and upset and angry at the same time. She was like, I had a family that loved me this whole time. She sat in a foster home until she was three years old. She didn't get adopted until she was a little over three. She doesn't have any recollections of any of it. She has no baby pictures. She has nothing of any time before she was finally adopted. And the family had assumed that she had been taken from the birth mother and given to an adopted family right away, but that just didn't happen. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Something obviously nefarious is going through my mind, like George Tan type of issue. Like something is going on in my mind that, that this isn't right. But we were able to give her the information before she passed away. Um, she was super grateful and it made us feel great that we could give her that information because you know some cases are harder than others and this one looked like it was going to be a little bit harder on paper but we got her the information and we ended up working through the night in about six hours gave her everything that she needed. But that's it for today you guys don't forget to hit like follow and share and I'll see you later.